بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو رہنما اکیڈمی شاہکوٹ یوٹیوب چینل ایٹ دا ریٹ رانا رب فور فائیو سکس تھری ٹوڈے لیکچر از دا کنٹی کنٹینیویشن آف دا پریویس لیکچر وچ آئی ڈلیورڈ فار دو اسٹوڈنٹس ہو وش ٹو اپلائی فار آئی ایس ایس بی What the things ISSB is seeking in the candidates to be selected as a potential officer of our armored forces? So I elaborated those qualities. These qualities may be in the instinct of some personnel, but with the practice with uh, making people conscious they can develop these habits and they might be aware of these qualities to be assessed by SSB for selecting officers for armed forces so in those qualities the foremost and essential required quality is the leadership leadership is very important quality being officer as officer is to lead is to command the under command personnel to deal socially with such a magnificent organization like army army is composition of various allied forces so leader is to act, react very properly, honestly, dedicatedly, with fair, just, and having fair dealing with all its under command personnel. Then he must have the quality of taking initiative, timely decisions, proper decisions. Initiative is needed when there is no routine and usual chain is working there is such type of situation which is not giving you ample time to wait orders from the superior authorities at that at this is the time when an officer is to take prompt and quick decisions with great courage and determination remember it's not the theoretical job It's a practical job. You have to face sometime very critical and arduous situation, the situations which are not normal, unusual situation. So at that time, if somebody does not have this courage to take initiative, he is not so resourceful, and he cannot decide the things timely, He cannot sacrifice his own comforts for the others. He does not realize the basic needs and requirements of his under command personnel. Then it becomes very difficult for him to, to be a good leader. He cannot win the goodwill of his under command. He cannot motivate them. He cannot prepare them for the sacrifices at the time of need. So these all qualities are needed for motivating the people, for putting them on the track where they are ever ready to sacrifice even their very, very essential thing like the life for the sake of country, for the sake of this homeland. It all depends the good leader who lead them. And those leaders are not just giving verbal orders. They are themselves realizing the responsibility. They lead from the front. So these are all the qualities which are assessed by ISSB for potential officers being selected for armed forces. 
so i elaborated to some extent those qualities today the next important quality that is assessed in the candidates at issb it is intelligence remember intelligence is very comprehensive term very vast term different books are available and different definitions are available for this but intelligence is the ability for a person to get adjustability with the changed environment it is inborn capability a man decides the thing promptly timely he takes decisions timely for the favor of the personal for the favor of homeland for the favor of country he is capable enough to handle abnormal situation so it all depends upon this instinct capacity ability of a man who is and issb seeks for this ability remember this intelligence is basically as i have earlier mentioned it's very comprehensive term but normally the basic intelligence is assessed at issb through intelligent test those tests are verbal non verbal then mechanical aptitude is assessed through mechanical aptitude test those test can be cleared with the application of common sense i remember common sense is common but not very common reason is that people cannot commonize that skill in a common way it's need mathematical calculations and if somebody is good at mathematics so he can quickly understand how to pass these test so it mean basic intelligence can be assessed mathematically but remember there is practical intelligence this practical intelligence cannot be assessed through mathematical calculations for this situation is evolved and candidate is to show its determination its quickness and its ability to solve that problem favorably so it's assessed through various gto task which are given there at issb during the time at the disposal of issb so this can be coached to the candidates but remember it's again depending upon the inner born inborn ability of that person how he quickly reaches to the conclusion of the solution of the problem and the task assignment that is assigned practically during issb test so how that candidate reaches to that reaches to the solution of that problem practically so this ability is again plays vital role as a potential officer potential officer must understand pros and cons of the problem very quickly he must have rational approach towards the things he must have optimistic attitude towards the problem and these all things require and demand 
totally dedication and the man must be determined must be brave courageous to reach to the, to reach to the solutions of the problems those are evolved at issb just for assessing the individual or the candidate or the potential future for armed forces so my dear students you can learn these things with the practice you can get guidance from rahnama academy shahkot as i have earlier mentioned in my previous lectures the people of this locality don't have sound military background they do not have this idea and they at once they go at the selection center most of them they get failure at the selection centers and if they reach to issb they are not aware what to do how to act and react in that situation how to be patient there how to use his potential so this is basically for guidance for all those students we are here for their services thank you to all having well wishes for all the candidates who are going to appear for issb exam thank you to all